Hey guys, so I'm going to show you guys how I uh, restore this doll that has curly saran. So our model today is Brat Party Sasha, the 10th anniversary doll. She came in costume party Megan's outfit and a former funk Yasmin scarf. And yeah, she's super gorgeous. We're going to start with washing her in room temperature or cold water from the tap. Um, what I like to do when I first get any of my dolls, um, home that are secondhand, I like to fully submerge them in water. I get me a glove because I don't like the texture of the mats in curly hair. It grosses me out thoroughly. Um, but I rinse them out thoroughly and then I get a toothbrush and some hand soap and I wash the body. Um, I do the body once and then I wash the hair three uh, times. At least I did it with her. I did. Um, but yeah, I scrub her hair real, real good. Um, that's This is like my second time and I do one more time after this. Um, next, uh, this is what it looks like pretty much all cleaned off. So now I use my little conditioner. I did like two or three pumps. It was a good hefty amount. Um, and I went and found her little part line and I made sure that that was still intact while, um, I was doing her little hair and I slightly, you know, slowly parted it into two pieces or two halves. That way I could do each half separately and it's easier on me. So this is my real time showing you how like slowly and gently I do, uh, detangle my hair before I go ultra speed on you. Um, I always start from the bottom and then I go to the top. Anybody should do that, whether it's with doll hair or their own hair. If you are detangling hair, you always start at the bottom and you go to the top. For me, whenever I reach a tangle, that I just go right back to the bottom and then I brush all the way back up to that tangle and usually it's all gone. Um... And then also while I'm doing that, I like to flip over the hair. Uh, that way I can know I fully detangled both halves and both sides of the hair. Um, I cut off any of the little dangly pieces like that. That was the only one I had for her. Um, and then that's pretty much all I do. Over and over, I just flip the hair over um, and brush it. This is like the first little quarter that I did get detangled. It's really nice. Um, I like to twist my little pieces up, especially with curly hair. That way the hair doesn't like recoil and get tangled up with uh, hair that isn't already detangled. And at this time, I started noticing that her hair was clumping up together in the little uh, locks. So I just untangled that. That's half her head done. That's nice, silky, detangled. And then this is the well-loved side. You can tell she was owned by a kid. Because, wow. This is just the comparison of both sides. Like, Because look at the difference. Look at the material. Oh, damn, I'm good at doing hair. But yeah, I pretty much did that with the other side over and over and over. I started using my hand just because... Uh, I like to comb on my hand just in my own like personal for me just because I know I can feel the bristles like getting all the way down at least to my skin so I know it's going through all of the hair. Um, but yeah, here is her hair fully detangled. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. I love this doll so much. I was so glad that I found her for such a cheap deal. Um, especially with her hair, like not being cut and in good condition. This is pretty much all the hair that she lost throughout the whole process. Um, I did end up going to, um, boil wash her again or not again. I just boil washed her just so I could get rid of the frizz that she had after her hair dried. And this is the result. She's Gorgina.